Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from us here at Camper Van Journey. Obviously we're not out and about in the van today. I'm here in our back garden in Salisbury, surrounded by a bird song, which hopefully isn't too noisy, but I wanted to talk to you today about our latest acquisition, which is our Total Cool Total Freeze Compressor Fridge Freezer. Hope you enjoy the video. So we've owned for the last um, three years our Volkswagen California Beach and then prior to that had a Volkswagen T5 Combi conversion, neither of which have um, as part of their standard equipment a fridge. So we've used whilst we've been away camping a um, electric thermo cooling fridge which is a small basically a cool box that you plug in has an element in it which will lower the temperature uh, to keep things cool. However, what we have found whilst we've been away, especially on trips to France, if the temperature is 30 degrees in the summer, which often it is, or 35, if the unit was only able to reduce temperature by about 15 degrees, it was woefully inadequate at keeping anything cool. So we wanted this year to invest in a proper fridge freezer. We were at the motorhome motor and camper van show in Newbury and we got talking to the guys at Total Cool and they did a great job of persuading us that this would be a really good thing for us to try out. But we purchased with our own money this Total Cool Total Freeze 45. Okay so we'll unpack the factory packing out. Now this is the medium size of the three that they do and I'll put a link in the description which will take you to the website and explain the three different sizes. Um, the smallest one was I think 35 litres, this is 45, I can't re remember the size of the big one off the top of my head but we'll take the details in. So first thing is whilst it's obviously big it's not too heavy. So the weight of it, according to the box, is 15 kilos, which compared to some fridges and freezers is uh, pretty, um, pretty manageable. Nice square shape, which is going to be good for packing. Very, very sturdy, which was one of the things that impressed us when we were having a look around it. Um, so sturdy, in fact, it can be used as a seat or a box to stand on. And nice straight dimensions, so which means when you're packing, it makes it much, much easier when you come to organise the packing of things in the van. And Claire, my wife, will tell you that I'm very particular about my packing, so if everything's got a place, and if it fits in properly, then that's a real advantage. So we've got a power pack for mains use, a power pack for an adapter for 12 volt, which would be the one that we would use in the van, a Euro style adapter, which is useful, and then a UK three pin plug. So, what I just want to do is just plug it in quickly, just make sure it's all working properly, get a feel for the controls, and then I'll show you inside in the storage room. It's around about 20 degrees out here, and we'll just run it for, for an hour and see how cool it gets on the coolest setting. So the main socket just on the back. Okay, so we have power, we have a light. So inside we've got a basket. Um, quite very deep and one of the things that we were keen to ensure we had when we purchased a replacement was this was deep enough to store two litre drinks bottles and wine bottles most importantly when you're away in France and then a separate section at the end. The front section, the larger section, is geared to be set up as the freezer and then fridge section at the back. Obviously you can run them both as a fridge, run them both as a cooling as a frozen part as well I believe. So we'll turn on, there's an LED display on the front. I will read the instruction book to get 
a full understanding of the controls, but we've got max on here, the power that it's drawing through the transformer, and then at the moment it's saying 26 degrees, which is obviously the ambient temperature. There's a Bluetooth symbol on there, which is interesting. So I wonder if it's got Bluetooth control. We'll check that as well. I'm going to set it as low as it goes, which is 20, minus 20. You can see on the front, hopefully that's picking up on the display, 26 degrees, which is the ambient temperature inside. Put this inside and then that will tell us what the temperature is when we come back in an hour or so. So, first impressions, really, really good. Um, really solid design, really nice chunky handles, really robust. Um, it's going to take the knocks and bumps that it's going to suffer inevitably when you're out and about. I like these little protective corners that we've got as well. Um, it's running on maximum cooling now, but I don't know if you can hear, the fan is really, really quiet. So that again is a huge advantage because if we uh, are away in our tent and we take it out of the van and put it on our tent and it's running overnight, you want to have a nice cool or nice quiet fan running as well. So if you reduce the uh, temperature requirement or reduce the fan speed, then that will get even quieter as well. Uh, one of the key advantages that the guys at Total Cool told us is it uses a lot less power than a lot of the competitors on the market. Um, it's a lot better insulated as well. So even if it's not on, um, it will maintain a temperature for, for many, many hours after being unplugged. So again, we'll find out how we get on with that. But uh, let's leave it for, for an hour to check the temperature and see how well it's done. But so, so far, it looks like a good piece of kit. So there's a number of key features of the total cool total freeze. So I'll just run those through those now for you one by one. So the power source can either be 12 or uh, 240 volts. Um, there's an adapter that comes with it and two different uh, power sockets. So either mains or 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, using the adapter. Um, it's also nice that it provided as well a Euro adapter. It's possible to cool down to minus 20 degrees and we've set it to maximum cooling at the moment so we'll find out how quickly um, it can get down to that and then come and check it out. It's very very energy efficient so it takes a very low current um, and very energy efficient again compared to uh, some of the other uh, compressor fridges which are out on the market and perhaps have a, um, a more well-known name. Um, Whilst it's very robust, um, it's very lightweight for what it is. Uh, it's a big solid box, but it's still 15 kilos is, is pretty lightweight. Um, so if it's loaded up with food and drink, it's going to weigh more than that. Um, but again, as I said just now, it's a nice, uh, really practical shape to be using whilst you're out and about. Very, very quiet. Um, it's running at maximum at the moment. And all the needs and everything that you needed were provided as well. But I am intrigued by this Bluetooth function, so I'm just going to go and read the instruction book, which is one of the things that perhaps I should have done right at the beginning, and then find out a little bit more about that too. Okay, so the total cool freezer box has been running now for under an hour at uh, around about 50 minutes, so let's go and check and see what the temperature is. On the outside, the reading is minus 16. And on the inside, if you remember, I put our thermometer display in it. It's certainly cold, I can feel it. But the display actually isn't actually registering. It's saying LL, which it does when it's too low. So I think it's safe to say that it's uh, got very cold in there. It's actually cold to the touch as well. So first impressions of the Total Cool Box, it has to be said, are really good. Um, obviously we've got to try it in the field as it were, and we'll be doing that very, very soon. So if you enjoyed the video so far, just remember to hit the button to like, and uh, check out the description below for more details about the Total Cool Box, and uh, I'll give you an update as to how we get on with the box in practice in a little bit later on in this video. 
so stay watching to find out how we got on. So I just wanted to give you an update on our Total Freeze 45 fridge freezer that we purchased recently. Uh, we've just finished two weeks in France and I have to say it's performed superbly. So we had a, a plug-in 12 volt cool box beforehand, uh, not a compressor fridge which is what the uh, Total Freeze box is and we found that uh, in French uh, summer weather it just wasn't getting cool enough. Whilst we've been away we've had temperatures of 35 degrees um, and the fridge has performed faultlessly. So you select on the display screen itself temperature, just the buttons up or down and it will maintain that temperature. Plenty of storage inside so you can see that we've got you know, two, there's room for two to three, these are one and a half litre bottles, one litre bottles of milk, some yoghurts, cheese, all of our supplies for certainly two or three days for a family of four. Um, you can divide up the storage between the bigger compartment is the colder section. This will actually go down to freezing if you want it to. And then a fridge box at the back. The whole thing can be plugged into the mains here on hookup. And then using the 12 volt socket, we plug into the van and it's got, it sits really nicely in the boot area. Additionally, there's an app on the phone Select Total Freeze and I can now control remotely the settings for the fridge. Which is really cool. So all in all we've been really really impressed with it and uh, I have to say from a price point of view it's significantly cheaper than the Dometic equivalent. So definitely gets a big thumbs up from us here at Campervan Journey as a really, really good bit of kit.